It's the truth I'm swearing in the land of Aaron, the Lord told Moses, go and search the land, get your twelve individuals who are in command. You need one ruler from every tribe to go take a gander, then come back and describe. See out yonder how the land lies, and so twelve individuals were picked to be spies from Reuben, Camua, from Simeon, Shaphat, from Judah, Caleb, from Issachar, Idol, from Ephraim, Joshua, from Benjamin, Paul, from Zebulun, Galiel, Joseph, Daddy, Dan, Amiel, from Asher, Zetha. Around field in for two minutes, and a big bunch of grapes on the pole. Then the ball back to pair and gave the people their report. The spy stole Moses, said it even though it was indeed a land where milk and honey flow. The people are strong, and they all tore on. They got good kites. And Jebusites and Amorites and Canaanites and then the come of such enormity that when you're standing there before them, your eyes level with their knee. And if you run across one, you would just turn till they flee. The son of Jephon said they could lift them with one hand. Joshua would be glad he would be idiotic to go on the attack and say, even if we pulled out all of the stoppers, most of those guys were just a bunch of grasshoppers. People heard this and broke down and cried because it seemed that their hopes and dreams had died. Joshua and Caleb tore the clothes in disgust. People didn't seem to have the slightest bit of trust in the God who would gather them with his sand to lead them from Egypt to the promised land. Joshua and Caleb called the people ungrateful. The people tried to stone them because the people were hateful. God appeared in his glory in an angry loom. Who's gonna, who's gonna kill the people for the bad attitude? Moses begged pardon, God relented, but regarding their deliverance, the good Lord stand.